Welcome back, Rich Nation. My name is AJ, and today we're going to be continuing The God of High School, Episode 2. I know I'm a little bit late on this one, but I'm just happy to finally be able to react to this. Um, the first episode was high action, straight to the fights. I, I'm so used to some episode, like some first episodes being slow, some first episodes being uh, crazy. This one was just high action. Uh, fighting, just showing what the what the show is uh, gonna do, and I, I loved it. I love a, a good first episode, and that's what we got. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, smash that like button, hit that notification bell. I'm gonna aim for trying to do these right on Mondays. Hopefully, we'll be able to get this out straight on the next episode straight on Monday. That's what I'm gonna try for. Um, but if you want to see early releases or uncut reactions, check out Patreon.com/slash/AJRich123, and let's go ahead and start. Oh, yeah, the, uh, the cross thing. King Kong? Maybe that's, like, a code name or something, or a name for somebody? <laughs> Looks like it's a big deal, though. They ended the last, didn't they end the last episode with a non-conclusive fight? They're not going to show the end of that fight? Oh, now it's actually 1v1s instead of like these everybody fight against each other. Now he's following her. <laughs> oh. Oh, shit. She wanted it that bad to snap his neck. <laughs> this girl can kick the shit out of, it seems like anybody. That's legit. So after your fights, even if you broke bones or something, you'll heal. Oh. <laughs> what did he get beat up and then it made him want to, you know, get stronger? That's what that looks like, like a bully. <laughs> She's fighting for the cherry blossoms? No. <laughs> so she was at a disadvantage, technically. Ooh. Um, get ready to get rocked. Yep. <laughs> or slapped. That's actually worse. I'm sure they'll. Oh. I thought he would he would go down for it or go look for it. Yeah, you can tell that sword means a lot to her. Yeah, you can't really have a you know a decent childhood or life when you're devoted to something like that at a young age. So that's why she's at the tournament? See, it seemed like he was a kind guy that he would, you know, he's the one that knocked it over. You get that from the way he talks and acts. You can tell he has a good heart. <laughs> and his positivity can be kind of a good thing too. They seem to be from all walks of life, like all three of them. Uh, seem to be relatively different this tournament is legit though anyone would want to go to something like this i would go to something like this if it was real to this to this extent i like the logo god damn strong boobs I guess not. 
Was that just from the... Ooh. Gives no fucks. Ah, uh, Igor telling us our information. Some of these guys seem a lot more serious than others. Also, it seems to be a lot of uh, the range of... Uh, like the range of uh, the participants, like in age and where they're from and what they're doing seems to be very diverse as well. Like it's definitely a, a, a humongous difference for sure. I, I like that, though. And I like those three, like the three characters that have been portrayed kind of like the main characters. They are very um, they just work. They seem to work well together. I, and I like that. I, I, maybe they didn't like start out like that in the first episode but um since they're around the same age and they're walking together anyway you might as well get acquainted all right let's see mira fight a match on her own oh that did not last long at all god damn or is strong because anything goes here she seems to be more like a wrestler type. What the hell is that Street Fighter girl? Uh, or Micah. That's who she reminds me of. So he'll read his book and then bash people in the face with a bat. Um, What's that guy's name for Persona 3? I swear they have some inspiration from that. They probably wouldn't go to this tournament, you know, if they were scared. He's a true martial artist, just by the way he talks. He only hit him with a cheap shot, so I think he has a chance. Complete opposites. This guy doesn't care. This guy is all about caring. <laughs> Ooh. Damn. He's taking it. We can tell this guy has no pushover. Mm hmm. Is he going half assed right now? He must be very confident. Yup. I'm noticing a power difference. Ooh. I feel like with that outfit, he'd be, you know, living with Puri Puri Prisoner. I could hear and feel that one. Can you hear? Uh, can you heal a like a broken face? This guy looks like a demon like that. Oh. Guy doesn't know when to stop. He's that type that'll go over the top. Calm and collected. This guy was taught well. Ooh. Damn. That looked more like an ultimate move that just didn't go right. He sent it right back to him. The match is over. What's the point of doing that? Fuck this guy. Yeah, this guy needs to get his ass beat. I'm guessing he got slat or he still was getting beat. So he's bringing his pain onto other people. It must be. Sick. 
See, that's what happens sometimes when when you've been treated one way. Some of these people that have that are like this, that have no manners, that seem like really bad people. That was usually done to them and they've dealt with it for a long time. So they're br- or that's how they were raised or whatever. And then it, they bring it out on other and then they do it to other people. It's it, it's a cycle, unfortunately. See, this man's legit. He's just... Ooh, he's just honorable. Calling all refs, somebody. Ooh, man's gonna get his arms broken. I mean, where's the ref? Oh! Ooh! Could he get in trouble for doing this? I love that he's jumping in, but nobody's stopping this. So is this, this is truly anything goes. Tag partner in. Oh, okay. Truly not everything goes. See, that's bullshit. Why did no one walk, you know, jump in? Where's this darkness coming from? Oh, it's all from him. Clothes that were like locking his power. The fuck? So he was weak. He was weak before and. Some type of uh, martial art or power? How the hell? We just went from swords and punches to fucking darkness waves? This is truly anything goes. Damn. Now, what does that say about how strong, like, he is? Um, he's definitely getting punished for that, for sure. Oh, the guy they showed in the beginning? Is he getting disqualified? Okay, somebody is. I was gonna say, like, the audience should love that. Like, I know if I was in the audience, I'd be screaming about it. Stuff that's unexpected is sometimes the best, you know? Oh man, what an episode. I, I think this showed, this episode in general showed a very good difference between people's uh, morals and character. We saw the extremes of somebody that's ruthless, uh, Obviously, in flashbacks, it showed him being treated like crap and wanting power, not being able to use this power or some type of martial art or whatever. Uh, but he was able to access something because we all we've seen is like fighting and, uh, you know, general martial arts, swords, stuff like that. But now this guy's using some type of darkness wave type moves and he's like attacking with airwaves. And it's just, like, what is the extent of like, is there powers in this? Is there abilities that we just don't know about? Because that seems strange to me right off the bat there. Um, but we got one guy that's more like I was saying, we had one guy that was very like uh, a passionate, strict to the rules, had an actual like he has actually like actual morals and code and it, like a true martial artist. And, you know, he's not going to give up and he's not going to bow or do anything. The other guy says fight to the end and be confident in your in yourself, which w I, which I love seeing when someone can do that, even when they're getting defeated or even when somebody's stronger than them and on the other side you know just a, a dick um but it, it was good to see you know when somebody's down like because i was waiting for a ref seriously was anybody else waiting for a rat like for somebody to stop the fight now we know no one's gonna unless you give up 
no one's going to stop the fight at all. So this isn't this isn't wrestling. There is this isn't like anything like that. You, I guess they can't stop the fight uh, that way. But you know when when our guy went and jumped in to the fight to take over and help him out, they were quick enough to pull out everybody out of their ass and to stop the you know stop him. So. I don't see I don't I don't know I personally don't like that but maybe I mean this tournament seems really serious so that's probably why they decide you know to kind of just let the fight go but man this guy has no morals like he was breaking his arms I'm wondering how good that he because that thing that they have on them is supposed to heal them and you could see like you could see the bones so i'm sure it heals like bone injuries or things like that but what if they your arm gets completely broken or off they can heal to that extent that was like probably my biggest question because you would think in a in these type of fights you could break your arms your head or whatever so how far and how strong is this healing uh is the healing part of that that, I, I think that would be the first thing I'd be thinking of, because the only way you could generally go all out is if you think you're going to recover. I mean, for these guys and for them not to like, you know, I, I would think if somebody uh, if some bad things happen in the ring uh, or if you had, you know, broken bones or whatever, uh, it it would cost a lot more for the entire place right i just think it would it would hinder things so when you have something like this where you can heal you would th it makes people be able to go all out because they're like well even if i get smashed up um i'll still be okay or hey i'm gonna uh i'm gonna use my full strength which probably will wear me out and i could break something but hey i'm gonna be fine because uh you know it'll heal me right right before my next match and then that would probably make you be able to fight to, you know, 100 percent each fight, which I feel is what they're going for in this tournament. Like they're going for all out matches. Um, and that's why they've implemented something like this, which I think is cool in the first place. <laughs> uh, but anyway, guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, smash that like button, hit that notification bell. Uh, go join us on Discord, or you can uh, check out my Twitch, twitch.tv slash AJRich for streams. I also have a Patreon, patreon.com slash AJRich123. If you want to see the uncut reaction to this, feel free to go check that out. Um, and uh, that and early releases of this show and all my other shows that I do. I do a bunch on the channel. Go subscribe if you haven't. I'd appreciate it. And uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.